Hi everyone, it's time for Art with Ruris. It has been a while since I have uploaded a video. Just like you on the other side, I am also constantly learning and struggling to create better looking art. So stay on the path, we will improve together. The point of this video is to explore what type of post work is good to apply and when should you go minimalist. I will just share some of the art I have created recently. Yeah, this is some of the shots I have taken with the sad straight of Asia. It's a nicely created props with a bridge in the background, a gazebo and some historical buildings in a shot with you can shoot with. Um so so this one I have gotten a few nice comments on the skin tone and the how the dress uh appears in the random which is quite realistic so, like the lace here it has a nice transparency so all this the creation of this place this piece i did not go overboard with the post work i just apply a light sunlight filter through photoshop uh, there's a very mild mild highlights here as you can see on her right shoulder a bit on the arm a bit on the waist yeah overall it's a very nice effect let's take a look at the next one um okay so this is another model shot uh, on on the same location position her more or less the same place uh, this one looks more neutral Try to adjust the skin tone, but still looks a bit dark. But overall, is okay. Okay, for the third one, uh, this is also still the same set. Straight of Asia is on the other side of the props. So for this glamour shot, I make some mistakes here, which I want to share with you. So the first one is that the prop wasn't the M the. The whole prop wasn't turned around properly, so as you can see here, the model wasn't resting her posterior against the wall. The second one is the highlight is a bit sharp. As you can see, it doesn't graduate nicely. Say so take this uh the rim light from the side of her from the left side of her face it doesn't graduate into the darker shadow part nicely it just straight away jump into the dark shades so that's one of the problem here i did not uh, i did not control the tone curve nicely over here okay so yeah that's it three shots i take using the streets of asia and then now I will go to the next one, which I, which is uh, the one I use for the YouTube thumbnail. So in this one, I created two versions, one using the a lot of sunlight filter. I, I'm just going to call this the warm version on the left side and the more natural version on the right side. So this is also uh, to prompt the discussion um, of when is uh, more post work is good and when you should be a minimalist when it comes to it. So let's uh, discuss about the warm light first. Okay, so in this one, the rim light is quite strong and in a way it can create some inconsistencies so you can see on the right side of her chest and her right shoulder it has some nice highlight but when you imagine this whole environment as an actual 3d space you might ask yourself a question where does the light comes from and if it's coming from say uh, from the top of the barn, from the roof of the barn, and it comes straight down. Um, why doesn't it hit 
and brighten up some part of the ground or the haystacks. So this is uh, some question you might want to ask yourself, you know, if, if you want to improve on the realism of the render art you create. So besides that, uh, some of the post work I did was I added a blur layer so you can see there's a slight glow on her arm over here and also around her hair. Yeah, I also added a nick collection for the Photoshop nick collection sunlight filter. So the end result is a, it's quite a strong warm color. So while I was looking at this, I was just figuring out what else I can do with it. So I decided to create a more minimalist look. So let's take a look at the actual creation for the minimalist version. So as usual, I start with the scene. So on the camera raw filter, let's take a look. Uh, this is how it looks like. Yeah, so I just bump up the contrast a bit because I eventually I plan to use the overlay blend on the on the key light. Um, on the tone curve, I just boost the shadows up a bit just to lighten up the dark parts. So okay, so now we will go to the the key light. So over here we um. The two considerations I did was either to use overlay or soft light. So if you are familiar with this, um, this is one of the explanations for it. You can think of overlay as shifting the mid-tones. Dark blend colors shift the mid-tones to darker colors and light tones shift the mid-tones to brighter colors. So this is quite useful here. So I went for overlay since I wanted a stronger contrast look. But either way will look, I believe either way the end result will look quite nice whether, whether you use soft light or overlay. So for the rim light, so basically this rim light is the same one I use for the, the warm version. So what I did was I created a a layer mask here, I just turn everything dark first and I only want the left side of her body to be affected so if you were to look at it again without with rim light right so you can imagine okay there's some light from the her bank shining into her and it doesn't hit the ladder or anything so it looks more realistic this way so for the eye I just did another uh, selective render so just give her more boost on the the whites of the eye and the uh, and her iris and for the final one uh, this color look up remove a bit of the warm tone and just give her a more a whiter skin tone yeah. Uh, while I was um adjusting a skin tone, I, I'm also looking at some reference picture on how things looks and so yeah I guess I might be uh, going for this a bit. Yeah. So there you have it. All right, there are times when a minimalist approach looks better and there could be when you should there are other times when the opportunity arises that you should go crazy with the post work maybe in your fantasy artwork so yeah i hope you enjoy this session um glad to share this with you so if you want to hear more of my opinion please subscribe for more the following videos thanks for watching all right see you guys around